you had hopes, dreams, ambitions. And she wasn't going to let something like the aforementioned factor get in the way of accomplishing at all those and contributing to society. Well, on the day of July 14, 2018, all those hopes, dreams, and ambitions were snuffed out when she tragically fell to her death. The state intends to prove that her biological father, Jordan Ryder, is responsible for her death. That due to his willful negligence, his daughter, with whom he was supposed to be rebuilding his relationship, passed away due to both his actions and inactions throughout the day. That knowing despite the condition that she had, he still put her in harm's way. And as a direct result, Parker Page died alone, afraid, and in pain. For well, that reason, Jordan Ryder needs to be held responsible and pay for that neglect. What is the case against Jordan Ryder for manslaughter? First, his choice of the camping grounds. Despite knowing Parker Page's condition, known as osteogenesis imperfecta, aka brittle bone disease. Jordan knew that he had the condition and the responsibility to take care of his daughter from birth. And yet the testimony from Brittany Richard will show that Jordan was warned that the path was dangerous, and yet he took it anyway, willfully ignoring the ignoring the warning. Second, the signed affidavit from Armani Rodriguez shows that in the early evening that writer states that Paige, his injured and vulnerable daughter, was nowhere to be found. Yet he never called the police. Furthermore, Napkin demonstrates that rather than being concerned for his daughter, he was more concerned about how well it looked and did not call the police. There's also an extremely questionable timing towards a life insurance policy taken out by Jordan Ryder, which was started the day of the hike and ended and was approved the day that they found Parker Page's body. Third, despite knowing that Parker Page had fallen behind on the hike, Jordan Ryder intentionally left Parker Page on the path, not even bothering to check his daughter. His flesh and blood was all right, despite knowing her condition. Yet what did he do? The night of July 14th, he slept. In a tank. Didn't contact anyone about her whereabouts. And left her over a rock to die alone, afraid, and in pain. Council, I just want to ask, excuse me, is your... Um, Defense part of the answer, prosecution part is going to allow you to your client. Yes. So you're going to allow out of the 15 minutes of your chief, case in chief to take. I, I'm, I'm including you, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, then go ahead, please. Based on the factors, we believe that and intend to prove that Jordan Ryder is guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Thank you.